Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we're gonna to talk about a brand new feature that's a part of Samsung One UI 2.1, and it's called Network Storage. So Network Storage is found inside of My Files. So once you go inside of My Files, it's an application from Samsung that you're able to manage any type of files, your videos, music, and photos. Those are things that are stored on your internal storage, your SD card, your clouds, and now you have Network Storage. Now, Network Storage is a NAS system, which is Network Attached Storage. So if you have a business or if you're working at an office, you might be able to have the option of storing all of your files in one location that the entire building is able to do, or if you have one of these set up at your house. So this is mine right over here. It's very small. It is from Western Digital. It is four terabytes of storage. So basically, that is my own personal cloud. It's stored at home and plugged into my, my network or my Wi-Fi. So basically, when you open this up, you'll be able to search for your own personal cloud that you have purchased, which if you are interested in the exact same one that I have, I'll place a link below the video inside the description if you are new to this. It's a really good one to start off with. You have four terabytes of storage and you can back up anything in your house to that one storage and anybody can access it at any point in time as long as either you're connected to that Wi-Fi or if you wanted to have it, you know, plugged in with your computer system and then you have your sign-ins. But anyways, let's just talk about how this works with your cell phone. So right over here, I have four different folders that's a part of this network storage. You know, there's documents, there's music, uh, things that came off of my cell phones, and then as well as some you know YouTube videos and, and things like that. So how this works and how you're able to install it is let's first go over to my Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I do not have it installed yet, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like at the very beginning. So let's go inside of the Samsung uh, folder. Here is my files. And then right over here, when you click on network storage, it states that you needed to download it. You now what you hit on download, you'll go inside, you hit on update. So you're really only just updating the my files. By the way, before we dive deep, if you guys are appreciating this video, if you guys will be learning something in this video, make sure you guys go and hit that subscribe button. I know that about 86% of you watching this video is not subscribed. So you can join this party for free just by hitting subscribe and you can hit the bell for notifications so you get notified for all of the future videos so you don't miss any of these tips and tricks. Now that it's downloaded, when you open up my files one more time, you'll see that network storage is down here as an option. You do wanna hit on allow. Then now this is where you want to add your network storage. So I'm gonna go with this bottom one right over here, which is this SMB option. Now it's gonna to try to find any type of network storage that it's able to find on this Wi-Fi. Now, if it does not find anything, make sure you're connected to the, to the correct Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna actually go up here and change it over. Now that we're connected to the correct Wi-Fi, let's go right back inside, hit on SMB. So not only does this find the My Cloud option, but it'll also find my laptop right here. So if you needed to get access into your files on your computer, you'd be able to do it that way. But let's just talk about this one right over here. And now you just type in the username and password. There is a manual option if you'd like to type in all of this by yourself. If you're kind of techno, you know, technology advanced, you'd be able to do this. So I'm gonna log in real quick. And once you've logged in, you'd be able to see the exact same thing that everybody else is also seeing. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you what it looks like and how fast it's able to show on other devices when you add something in. So inside of documents, there is nothing that is added in. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head right back over inside of my files. Now inside of my files, I'm gonna go to my internal storage. I'm gonna head down over into documents. And then I'm just gonna move over my resume, which is something that has not been updated in forever. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this and then I'm gonna move it right over into that little document section right there. So you can still see that it's not sitting there because it has not been added in. So let's go inside of the network storage. Let's click on my little network right here. We're gonna go inside of everything that's public. Again, with the uh, documents, we're gonna copy it here. And then now once I move over to this documents, you can see it's uploaded there. When we move right over here, we're gonna go inside of documents. You can see it's there as well. It's actually very fast. If you're already in the screen and you're waiting for something to pop up, you can go on the very top and you can actually just hit on sync. It's going to resync back up. Uh, and again, it's all done through network. So this is very, very helpful. You know, it's very similar to if anybody has, let's say a solid state drive, if anybody has a hard drive and you back up everything to this one little hard drive, just imagine the fact that everything you have stored on here 
can now be accessed at any point in time, almost anywhere, because it's connected to a network. That's exactly what this is. It is a network cloud. It is a network attached storage. So anybody that's on the same network is able to get the same type of storage. So I think that this is just super cool. It's another way of having basically your own cloud. Uh, it's a way that you have your own little network of everything that is stored. So anybody that walks into my house uh, or connects to my Wi-Fi signal is able to go inside of network storage. So if you have multiple phones like I do and you would like to put everything just in one spot and then the next time you get another brand new Samsung phone, go inside of that same network storage. Everything is sitting right there uh, and it's just, it's fantastic. You can also place the backup of your cell phone inside of here and just make your own little folder called you know galaxy s20 ultra backup and then when you get your new phone you can move it right on over it's actually really nice and super helpful but i hope you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit and subscribe subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later